at least check your answer. Okay, um, so again, here what we have is we have the degree 105 degrees, and so what we need to do to find the measure of this 105 degrees, I need to start thinking about you know what angles on my unit circle can I use that I can represent as 105 degrees as either a sum or a difference because I can't find for as far as the points on the unit circle that I know. I can't figure out where 105, that's not going to land on one of those. So what I can do is if I use the points 30, you know, 60, 45, and 90, if I can write 105 as a sum and difference of those two points, then I'll be okay. I'll be able to be like, oh, all right, I can now write it as, um, uh, I can figure out the sum of 60 or the sum of 45. So what I end up looking at is 105 degrees, that can be rewritten as 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. So what's important about this is the sum and difference formula, what these do is these help us um, write this out because we can figure out the sines and cosines of 60 degrees, and we can figure out the sine and cosine for 45 degrees. So the next thing I'm going to do is just write out the formulas for these difference angles. So I can write, now the sine of 105 can be rewritten, or at least the sum and difference, Whew. and let's do sine first before I uh, kind of get too much rim out here. So now, instead of this, I'm going to use the sine of 105 degrees, which can be rewritten as 60 plus 45 degrees. So therefore, that's going to equal sine of 60 degrees plus cosine of 45 degrees plus cosine of 60 degrees times the sine of 45 degrees. Now, what we simply need to do is use our unit circle to determine uh, to determine the angle. I'm sorry, the the values of each one of these angles. So the sine of 60 degrees, if I look up here, this angle is going to be 1 half comma radical 3 over 2 as my x and y coordinates, and then I'll have 45 degrees, which is radical 2 over 2 comma radical 2 over 2. So the sine of 60 degrees is going to give me radical 3 over 2. Uh, what am I adding? That's cosine of b. Cosine of b is going to uh, Cosine of 45 degrees, which is your x value, which is radical 2 over 2. Plus, the cosine of 60 degrees, as I look up here, is going to be my x value, which is 1 half, times the sine of 45 degrees, which is radical 2 over 2. Now what I'll simply do is multiply across radical 3 times radical 2. It's going to give me a radical 6. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times radical 2. Barbara Steffens, if you're on campus, please go to the main entrance of the school. Barbara Steffens, if you're on the main in the school, please go to the main entrance of the school. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm yeah. just trying to make a little video, no big deal. So now what we can do is when we're looking at this, um, we notice we can combine these, but we'll, before we even combine them, we also know we can actually factor out. They have the same denominator and they share a common numerator of radical 2. So what I can do is I can factor out a radical 2 over 4, and that's just going to leave me with a radical 3 plus 1. And that will be my final answer for the sine of 105 degrees.